All right, guys, this is DK Spencer, and I've got a Berna CL here, compact, less lethal launcher. I've got a Umarex Glock 17 Gen 5 43 caliber, both of these CO2 powered, and the old familiar Red Rider BB gun. And we're going to actually talk about the joules per square inch and why it is complete BS to use in less lethal. Now, in less lethal, we measure the joules, which is the calculation based off of the muzzle velocity and the weight of the ammo. And that is all you need to use. That's what every manufacturer uses. But Berna come out with using this joules per square inch stuff when they released the CL. Now the CL is a 61 caliber versus everything else they sell is a 68 caliber. And mostly what everybody else uses is a 68 caliber. So it's actually a method to make the 61 caliber look stronger than comparable 68 calibers um, to increase sales. However, it breaks down when you start doing this calculation with stuff that's even smaller calibers. And it also proves that they only expected this thing to be 12 joules. So when you see somebody complaining that theirs is only 12 and Berna saying stuff like, well, their CO2 must have been cold or whatever, whatever. Nope, that's exactly what they expected. And I'll prove that to you real quick. So... As you can see, this is the numbers that you multiply the overall joules by to get the joules per square inch. The calibers, as they go down in caliber, you go up in this number. So when you get down to a 177 caliber, like the Red Rider, one joule is going to be 40.65 joules per square inch. Just one is 40.65 joules per square inch, okay? Now, this guy here, 43 caliber, so obviously it's way smaller than this. Everybody wishes this thing was strong enough to use, <clears throat> but it's not. Uh, Berna wants to convince you that because that this is a smaller caliber, it packs more impact into a smaller area, so it's more effective. The truth of the matter is it's not. It, the overall joules is what matters, not that. If that were the case, this little 43 caliber that's only 7 joules and everybody across the board knows it's not effective is actually 48.209 joules per square inch, which is more than the 41 joules that this guy is rated at. Does that magically make this one more effective than this one? Absolutely not. When we look at a Red Rider BB gun, Red Rider BB gun, tiny little 177 caliber, at only 1.35 joules, everybody knows this thing is not at all effective to use for home or personal defense, but it is 54.877 joules, which is way more than the CL. And then how to prove that the CL was only supposed to be 12 joules to start with? Well, when you plug it into the formula, the 12 joules equals the 41 joules they brag about. So no, Houston Jones did not take a 41 joule hit. He took a 12 joule hit. Kills me when people say that.